Hi everybody! So this week for Chamel's Sketches Reimagined, this is the sketch we're going to be playing with. As always, the blog post will be down in the description box. For today, I'm going to turn this sketch this way. <laughs> yes, I am. And I'm going to reimagine all of the spotters as sprinklings of sequins. You'll see why in a second. So that's what we're going to do with this sketch. We're flipping it. Oh, and we're doing four photos and they're all horizontal. So here are the four photos. We're going to do pumpkins. Uh, this past weekend, um, we took my boys to a local like fall festival and I took so many pictures of the pumpkins because they were beautiful and they were like, they were all scattered together. You can see here, like they're up in the radio flyer little thing and they had these little like vignettes and all these really different kind of gourds and it's so pretty. So I just took probably a million, but I picked out four that I'm going to use on the photo today for the sketch today. Here's why we're doing sequins. So uh, this is one of the brand new mixes from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, and I actually designed two of the mixes in this month's release, but they, um, they're not going to go with this page, but we'll, I'll, I'll be using them soon. Uh, so I have the sequin mix that are right here and I'm going to use this one. This is called Black Eyed Susan. It matches my scrapbooking store October kit beautifully. So we're going to use, we're going to pair the sequins with the scrapbooking store October kit. Um, my sketch and my pumpkin pictures all together. Below you will find a link to Chamel's blog post. You will find an affiliate link to Spiegel Mom Scraps so you can grab some October sequins if you'd want them. And you'll also find the affiliate link to my um, scrapbookingstore.com to their website where you can get this kit or you can take a look at some past kits that are there. She has a little shop and just lots of things. So Let's get started creating, shall we? So let's go ahead and get started on this layout. I'm going to, I started by pulling my scraps that I had. This is actually the second layout I've created using this kit. Uh, the first one you'll find in the scrapbooking store, a newsletter that they send with the kits. So I am going to start by trimming my photos down. So I printed these a little bit smaller than three by four, but, um, because of their subject matter, I can go ahead and trim a little bit off and that will help this whole section with my photos to kind of fit a little bit better onto my page. I'm going to go ahead and use these two pattern papers and then the yellow one, I'm also going to use the flip side of it, which is a fun uh, leaf pattern that I really like. I wanted to use this Buffalo check because I'm going to use a light colored background and I felt like the buffalo check would make, would be the perfect place to use this darker, uh, more saturated color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kind of map my these four photos. I put, put them onto the page the way I thought they would look the best and then gave them a nice even border. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fidget with these photos just a little bit. I wanted to get the borders just a little more even, a little bit straight. Um, I do love a good grid, but sometimes it's hard to just get them just right. I am not measuring any of these papers, but I am using the sketch as a guide. So I started with the grid and then I just kind of looked and saw how big or small the other papers were in uh, relation to the grid. And that's how I kind of decided where everything was going to go or how um, big to cut everything. So there really isn't, there's no rhyme or reason or, or method to how big or small I cut everything. I just looked at the sketch and made a, a guess, I guess would be the best way to do it. So I really like how that Buffalo grid paper is going to do exactly what I want. It's going to kind of pop and warm up the page quite a bit. I'm working on top of a sheet of cardstock from the cardstock warehouse. This is that speckle tone starch white cardstock that I am loving for the fall lines. It's not a bright white. It's more of a muted white, but it just, it works. So this color works so, so well. It worked well with my late afternoon. It worked well with my scrapbooking store kit last month. <laughs> and it works perfectly with this month too. So now that I have my layers all together, I grabbed a sheet of thickers from my stash. 
I'm going to fill in this bottom part of my layout with the title of the farm that we were at and then I also from one of the cut apart sheet I fussy cut that pumpkin that says happy pumpkin season and together they're going to kind of create my title although I think the happy pumpkin season is more prominent and is what I would consider to be the title. The Veilwood Farms is just the location of where we were at when I took these photos. I also popped up my fussy cut pumpkin which again will help to make it more prominent and more the title of the page. So the layout doesn't, the sketch doesn't call for a lot of clusters and I'm gonna kinda stick to that, although I am gonna add a few. Um, I added some stickers to my Get Sticky With It notebook so that I knew exactly which ones I wanted to make sure I got onto the page because they were kind of more like the pumpkin oriented type page paper. Um, stickers and I thought they'd look really well with my photos. I end up not using that Hello Fall one. It didn't really work. Um, the other two pumpkins were really orange and that one was a little bit yellow. So remember on that sketch when there was those areas that showed splatter? We're not going to use splatter. We're going to use these sequins. So I've just taken a handful of sequins. I looked at the sketch at where the uh, ink splatters were and I sprinkled sequins in those locations. All I'm going to do is kind of move this top cluster around because the sequins kind of ended up sitting on top of each other and I didn't want to try to, I didn't want to do that. Uh, but the rest of them, I literally just like threw sequins onto my layout. Just an FYI, throwing sequins on your layout and then gluing them down, a little less messy than in ink splatters. But the look is quite similar in the end. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Crystal Katana and my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm just going to go ahead and glue all of these gorgeous sequins down. So while I glue down the sequins, my brain is looking at the rest of the layout and it is telling me quite obviously that there needs to be another element over there with that pumpkin in the wheelbarrow kind of audition a whole bunch of stuff. So I start by with these leaves, I kind of put them down. Now I'm not sticking them, sticking them. I'm just kind of laying them and then kind of thinking about them. And, and then I'm gonna decide to pull them off because that's not what I want. I just want something else, another element that kind of layers over maybe the pumpkin or interacts with that pumpkin in the wheelbarrow. So you still can see that it's a pumpkin in a wheelbarrow. And then I go for this. So this is a little lantern, um, but the colors work. Um, and I decide that that's it. That's gonna be that piece that I'm gonna add on top of the pumpkin. I'm just gonna add some foam tape to it and go ahead and pop it up. I also want to use these little leaves. So these little jewel, the leaves with the jewels in them, they're from Jolie's, and they are part of the upgrade that you can get with your kit. And I'm just going to kind of let them interact and be part of those clusters with the sequins and then I'm going to put this little lantern down which just it's going it really just it it finishes up the page it doesn't make that little wheelbarrow pumpkin look lost <laughs> and that's where we're going to complete this layout thank you so so much for joining me today I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your week. You got through Wednesday, so give yourselves a high five. And I will see you again tomorrow where we're going to be working with Simple Stories and their So Cozy collection. See you all very soon. Bye.